Now to a night beat update. A man's dying wish to find forever homes for his 27 rescue dogs. Richard Ewers has made it his mission to take in abandoned dogs. After learning he's dying of cancer, volunteers have stepped in to help. The night team Sarah Acosta spoke with one of those volunteers who says Ewers has been given less than a week to live and finding homes for the remaining dogs is crucial. They, they can't be here much longer. 11 dogs out of 27 are left since we started following this story last year. For two years, Richard Ewers has been taking in dumpster stray dogs onto his South Bear County home. Local volunteers and donors stepped in to help vaccinate, spay and neuter the dogs, repair his fence and adopt the dogs out. During that time, 71 year old Ewers was diagnosed with stomach cancer. Recently, he was put into hospice and given about a week to live. Mary Euler and volunteers with Save Our Stray San Antonio have been coming to his home every day to feed the dogs, spend time with them and give them water. We are all very saddened by this, of course, and we want to make that last wish come, come true for him. Euler says she is hoping the final 11 dogs can be adopted to avoid them from being picked up by the county. It add a lot more stress to what they're going through already. Not having Mr. Richard here. There's confusion, there's uh, loneliness, there's depression. Euler says the conditions the dogs are living in are not ideal. They have shelter because they're able to come in and out of that window. But she says her biggest concern is that they're staying here all alone. There's no one to give them attention and love. There is no running water, there is no electricity. The conditions are just not ideal. She says whoever adopts or fosters them will need to be patient. There is a lot of work involved due to that. So all they've ever known is Mr. Richard. So it's going to involve, uh, require a family that uh, will have a lot of patience. Euler says if you're interested in adopting or fostering any of these dogs, you can find them right here on this Facebook page created by the volunteers helping Mr. Richard and his dogs. Now, all of these dogs have been spayed or neutered, but they will need to be taken to a vet to see what kind of condition they're in. Steve.